रमदान मुबारक रमदान करे Ramadan, the holiest month in the Islamic calendar, is a time when the gates of forgiveness are held wide open, when God Almighty comes closest to His sincere servants. It's a month precious to all Muslims, but do we really understand its true importance? We're going to take a look at some of the finer details regarding this holy month. Ramadan is the ninth month in the Islamic calendar, which is based on the lunar cycle of the moon. It was actually during this sacred month. that the holy quran began to be revealed a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem ya O ye who believe, fasting is prescribed for you during a fixed number of days, as it was prescribed for those before you, so that you may safeguard yourself against every kind of ill and become righteous. Fasting therefore becomes a spiritual shield, which protects us from evil intentions and thoughts, from the rise of the sun at dawn to sunset in the evening. Muslims stop eating and drinking, but it's a lot more than just going hungry during the day. Believers are reminded to spend the day in remembrance of Allah, to recite the Quran, and to avoid vain talk and quarrels. These are things we should be doing anyway, but extra emphasis is put on them during the month of Ramadan. Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu relates that the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "A man's good works carry multiple rewards from 10 times to 700 times. Allah says, a fast is an exception, for it is observed for my sake, and I shall bestow the reward for it. He who observes a fast gives up his passion and his food for my sake. For such a person there are two joys, a joy when he breaks his fast, and a joy when he meets his Lord. It's up to us as Muslims to make the most of the spiritual bounties available to us during Ramadan. It's all about self-control, suppressing your physical urges for food, sleep, comfort and many others. It's about devoting your time to win the pleasure of Allah Almighty and for the purification of your soul. It's a time when our thoughts are focused on those less well-off, those around the world who unlike us may not be able to have a meal at the end of the day.